Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fun with Flapjack Hardcore Minecraft. In this episode, I'm simply showcasing the time that it took to begin building my starter cabin in my Hardcore Minecraft survival world. This is a basic starter home that I learned how to build by watching Rizzio's YouTube video about maybe a year and a half or so ago. Ever since then, I have been building this starter home as my basic go-to starter home in all of the survival worlds that I play in or any of the survival servers that I play online in because if the home gets blown up or destroyed or griefed or raided, it really isn't going to matter that much because the basic building block materials that you need are the simple cobblestones and the simple tree logs. You know, you're crafting planks and trap doors and things like that. You only need a very little bit of iron to get started building this. You could build this without any enchanted tools. You just need shovel, pick, the basics. And so getting started in my Minecraft world, I thought, yeah, why not go ahead and begin building the floor plan uh, foundation area of my home. And I have not finished it quite yet, but here in a minute or two, I'm going to segue to a creative world where I did build this home simply to show you in this video what it will look like or nearly look like when it's finished. I do believe that it will look a little bit different because I have built this home to mirror the environment that it's built in. So the biomes that surround this cabin will decide and determine what type of blocks I use to build with and what the finished cabin's going to look like once it's done. So being that this is built at the beginning of a plains biome, but with a spruce forest nearby, and I've also added the two by two spruce tag of trees to make the home look more like it's nestled into the spruce forest, then it's gonna look a little bit different than the video that I added at the end. But I time-lapsed it so that I you know, wouldn't bore you so much while I was building and fighting all the monsters and running around collecting all the materials and doing the basics that you would do in any survival world. I didn't want to take up your time with a video that lasted about probably 30 minutes to record. So I time-lapsed it down to a three-minute window and then segued it to another a two or three minute clip in my creative world to showcase the finished project uh, the finished project so enjoy watching the remainder of the hardcore version and we'll catch you in the creative version in just a moment So here we join the creative world that I set up so that I could show you this home once it's finished. This home is nearly finished. Up on the third floor, one of the walls is altered slightly because I was experimenting with a loft idea open to the outdoors kind of a concept and I didn't actually like it. So I'll probably change it back to just the plank walls with the stained glass windows to match the rest of the home. But uh, indoors, you walk into a 8x9 space. I am showing you the lanterns from the 1.14 version of the game. They added these really cool lanterns so you don't have to use torches to light up areas anymore in your homes. It looks so much nicer with the lanterns. But this section of the home opens up into three balconies on uh, each of the three sides of the home that are alternative to the entrance. The entrance is like a breezeway with uh, stairs coming up to the ground floor. Then you'll go down the ladder into the basement. And I use a ladder instead of stairs because this is such a compact little starter home. You don't need the big fancy staircase balconies and things like that inside the house. But down in the basement I would cobblestone it and fill it with storage chests in any survival situation, survival server type situation. You would need plenty of areas to store your goods. And then the upstairs is just simply a bed with a chest that would be filled with gear in case I died and I had to respawn and get my gear back on. 
But uh, yeah, this is the basic appearance of the log cabin home that I built. And the original design was Rizio. He's got a million or so followers on YouTube. You can find him real easy. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I did it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the series and have a great day. Uh -huh.